the Southern North Sea is thought by many to be a cold and murky body of water with largely featureless sandy seabeds. Winter storms driven down from the north regularly batter the coastlines all along the east coast of England, but none more so than North Norfolk, which faces directly into the oncoming northerly gales. But despite the regular seasonal storms, just off the coast of North Norfolk, there lies a unique, thriving underwater ecosystem. An ecosystem based on chalk, which endures all that the North Sea throws at it and bounces back year after year. A technicolor garden of seaweeds and anemones, patrolled by sapphire blue lobsters, ruby-eyed swimming crabs, and all manner of fascinating invertebrates and fish. This is the Chroma Shoal chalk beds, and in this film, we will explain what makes this place so special. North Norfolk, on the east coast of England, faces straight into the North Sea, an area of East Anglia famed for rugged, soft cliffs hiding geological and archaeological treasures, desolate salt marshes and sandy beaches. But lying in the water, just meters from the shoreline, there is a secret world, the Chroma Shoal Chalk Beds Marine Conservation Zone. At low spring tides, the chalk and flints can often be left high and dry, as the water recedes, revealing the shallowest sections of this unique, and hardy environment. Starting at Weybourne to the west, the Marine Conservation Zone follows the coastline around for 20 miles to the east at Haysborough and extends six miles out to sea. Covering a total of approximately 125 square miles, this 100 million year old chalk bed is the largest in Europe and a crucial resource for sea life as it elevates from the seabed and creates a reef. A haven for sea life, the reef supports a thriving and dynamic community of algae, invertebrates and fish, and at times provides some shelter from the rolling swells of the North Sea. The chalk reef was formed 100 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, the word Cretaceous being derived from the Latin word crater, meaning chalk. Chalk is a soft, fine-grained type of limestone, composed predominantly of the armor-like plates of coccolithophores, tiny floating algae that flourished during this period, and sank to the bottom of the sea when they died to eventually become chalk. Chalk being such a soft substrate, provides a perfect habitat for sessile marine invertebrates and algae, allowing them to fix to the uneven surfaces or bore into the chalk to find shelter and protection from predators. Natural erosion further provides holes, cracks and crevices for sea life to hide, feed and breed. The chalk reef has two main recognized types of terrain. The flatter areas known as pavement with chalk boulders and flints and the more three-dimensional areas known as outcropping chalk featuring raised walls of chalk, arches and gullies which are mainly perpendicular to the shoreline. The outcropping chalk areas offer more nooks and crannies for the sea life to inhabit and a greater surface area for the algae, anemones and sponges to attach to resulting in an abundance of marine flora and fauna. It's like a bustling market town, with lots of marine creatures going about their business of feeding, sheltering, breeding and surviving. These biodiversity hotspots offer a more complex habitat, which allow more species to thrive. The soft and friable nature of the chalk results in a unique wildlife not found on harder rocks. Marine chalk is a very rare resource worldwide, 
and England holds a globally significant proportion of marine chalk habitats. Only 0.6% of the British coastline is formed of chalk, with this being 57% of the total European coastal chalk resource. This means we have a great responsibility to protect them. However, there is still much to learn about the wildlife specific to marine chalk habitats. Work is ongoing in partnership to improve understanding, but each marine chalk habitat is important for different reasons. Within a more dynamic area of sandy seabed, the chalk formations provide a stable sanctuary for a vast array of marine flora and fauna. The chalk beds provide shelter and protection as nursery areas for many juvenile species and supports a hugely diverse population. In amongst the crevices and holes live the many crustaceans, brown crab and velvet swimming crab. Common prawns with their transparent bodies and stripy legs shelter under overhangs. Lobsters in various shades of blue shelter in caves and can often be found hunting on the reef for their next meal. Above in the water column, compass jellyfish and even lion's mane jellyfish may be found drifting past. The chalk reef is also home to some unusual fish species, such as the snake pipefish, a relative of the seahorse. The short-spined sea scorpion, an ambush predator which can feed on fish as large as itself, lurks waiting for any unwary fish. Endangered common eel can sometimes be seen exploring the sea floor looking for an easy meal. In 2016, the area was designated a marine conservation zone, which means 10 specific features in the area have greater protection, which includes the chalk. In the summer season, usually August and sometimes September, the weather is calm enough for the sea to become totally flat, which allows the sediment to drop out of the water column, leaving visibility good enough for snorkeling on the chalk reef. An hour either side of low tide can provide the best opportunities for snorkeling, when the tidal currents are minimal, and the shallow water often means you can snorkel over fish and lobsters in only three or four feet of water. A sunny day helps with the visibility really allows the rainbow of colours to shine through, providing a vibrant underwater safari. One of the best places for snorkelling on the chalk reef is Sheringham, with plenty of shallow chalk very close to the water's edge, and lots of gullies and chalk formations to explore. If you don't fancy getting in the water, you can easily see some of the intertidal sea life by exploring the rock pools at East and West Runton during low tide. Be sure to wear sturdy footwear and watch your footing, the rocks can get slippery. If you move any rocks, please put them back how you found them to minimise disturbance to the sea life. If you find any plastic litter at the beach, please take it away with you. You could even join one of the organised beach cleans. Another way to get up close and personal with the local sea life is at the Rockpool Aquarium in Sheringham Museum. With a regularly changing selection of marine plants and sea creatures, you never know what you'll find. The animals only stay for four weeks and are then released back into the sea from where they came, so multiple visits might mean something different every time. The churning, murky, southern North Sea hides ancient treasure, man-made and natural reflecting stormy weather. Geological mystery underlays North Norfolk coast, incredible natural history invisible to most. Put on a mask and snorkel, take a deep breath in, dive into another world and quieten the din. Gaze upon a garden of seaweed colourful in the light the constant activity and creatures in your sight. The foundations of this wonderland, calcium carbonate, created over billions of years, where does it originate? Microscopic plankton die and settle over time, create the chalky layers crushed into stone of lime. Geological history sculpts, erodes, creates, ecological mystery, swirling sand permeates provides rugged complexity for animals to dwell, 
nooks, fissures and crevices for protection in their shell. Mesmerizing shoals of fish drift over the reef. The beauty is astounding, it stretches my belief. Sponges, hydroids, sea slugs, bivalves and starfish. Protect this colorful variety is all that we would wish. Abundant life inhabits this hotspot off our coast. So sensitive and fragile, this place we love the most. Conserve and nurture this bustling reef. Value what we know. Appreciate it feeds us and provides escape below.